I can't get over this one. Little kids, probably seven, eight years old, reenacting the movie Scarface. Remember Al Pacino, one of the most violent movies we've seen. Violent role for him. Here it is, one of the famous clips from the Universal Pictures movie Scarface. Let's watch. Okay. Do you want to play with us? Okay. Hello? Say hello to my little friend. All right, there you go. You got it? Scarface, the movie known for cursing, violence. Now let's check out the kid version. Say hello to my little friend. Take that All right, what do you think? Is this corrupting impressionable young minds? Or no big deal? Want to hear from you? Call in 1-877-TELL-HLN's the number. Join me to talk about this. Mark Klasfeld, the director of that video clip. He works for Rock Hard Films. Mark, all right. Mark, you see this, does anything about that at all strike you as wrong, a, a, a young kid reenacting the Tony Montana role? Well, first of all, uh, I'm a filmmaker, and I find the Internet viral videos is a brand new avenue of filmmaking that's really exciting, and it's something that I've done before, and it's, it's something that, I've, that I, I find uh, a, a great expression for filmmakers these days. Oh. As far as um, being wrong, um, I have two children myself, mm -hmm. and I find myself um, constantly guarding against um, uh, television commercials that show violence or show sexuality in ways that are inappropriate. So when my wife and I woke up this morning, we were kind of shocked, to be quite honest with you, because um, at the negative responses, there have been a lot of positive responses, but the negative responses were kind of interesting because there are thousands of things that are a lot more uh, crazy or exploitative than this. I mean, this was, this was a completely positive experience for everybody involved, including okay. the children. Well, you and I agree, and I'm with you with the commercials, but the, besides that, you're saying you try and guard your kids' eyes, their minds from this stuff. But yet, you, you've got, mm -hmm. uh, how old are these kids, by the way? Seven, eight, am I right there? The, the kids in the play are seven to ten. Seven to ten, okay. So with that, how do you reconcile that then? If you're trying to keep your own kids from this, I mean, these kids, are, are you, again, they're, they're playing with the guns, they're shooting people, the images that are going on in their little minds. Why use such impressionable, innocent kids for this? Well, well like I said, I'm a filmmaker, and I like to stir debate in projects that I do towards a positive end. As far as the, the kids used in this, um, I think they're going to be better for it. All of the parents, I'm sure, have opinions of myself and my wife. Um, they didn't see this as outrageous. They saw it as something fun, provocative, interesting to do. And I'm quite sure these children will be educated and grow up better for it okay. that they've been Let, through an experience well, like let's, this. Let's, they're let's, also, they, all these kids are also Hollywood actors. They are Hollywood actors, so, right. Well, let's play so, a little so bit they're, more. They're let, let's play one more clip of this, and this is an exchange between the little guy playing Tony and his wife, the Michelle Pfeiffer character, then we'll get your response, and mine. Let's watch. It's the fudgy back of the fudgy persons. They're the fudgy Muslim and coke legal. Can't you stop saying fudge all the time? It's boring, Tony. Boring? What's boring? You're boring. Fly, Billy, can fly. Come on, bacon. You do coke and you kill people. That's wonderful, Tony. I got a buddy junk for a wife. You son of a bee! I won't be so bold. I can't have a fudgy little bee with her. I'm leaving you, mother fudger. Amy's with us in Kentucky. Amy, you disturbed by this or not? I am. I am completely sickened by this. I cannot believe what I'm seeing on TV. I, I just, with all the violence that's going on here in our country, especially with children, I mean, children being set on fire, children being beaten and, and in the hospital clinging to their lives, I, and, and this is what's going on. You know, I understand what the gentleman said about them being professional actors and wanting to do something provocative. There is so much else in, in entertainment and media that's provocative that they could have chosen besides Scarface. This yeah. is sickening. Well put. I mean, Mark, there you go. I mean, this is exposing kids to violence, cussing, murder, drugs. I would say a seven-year-old shouldn't even know what the movie Scarface is all about. Well, they, well they, that's, that's not a fair comparison because, again, this was done in a very safe environment. 
The parents were completely informed, well aware what, what they were going through. The children didn't watch the movie. And there is a, a huge positive outreach. Let's, let's focus on this. Let's not compare it to Columbine and things like that. It's a fun video that's online. It has absolutely nothing to do with I, that. Again, I'm, a parent I, I'm a parent myself. I know, but I, there's let's nothing not fun about a not kid a, a, talking a about drugs. A, an eight-year-old portraying a drug lord. Fudge you, mother fudger. There's no way that this is positive for a kid. Let's get Michelle Gollin in, clinical psychologist. Obviously, Mark and I are different sides of the coin on this one. Michelle, uh, is this right. harmless for kids or not? You know, it's not harmless, but I guess part of what I would like to say is, let's just face it, this is about self-promotion. This is about doing something to get himself on HLN, on CNN, get viewers to look at this video. You know, there's nothing positive in it for the, for the children. My, my child does musical theater all the time. She does Annie and Fame and Look. a lot of other things as well. But, I mean, let's just call it what is just own that it's about plain old self promotion. Is this all about PR? Because you put this on YouTube, or somebody did as a school play, and it's obviously not a school play. What's your end game here, Mark? Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Well, Just well there's, actually, it. there's actually there's actually two two interesting points. I actually know her, which is random from, from the temple I go to. So, hi, how are you? But, and, but secondly... Um, Good, then let's have a discussion uh, with I, the I, rabbi I, about it. <laughs> I, that would be great. Um, but secondly, I actually have shot many music videos, commercials, and virals in the past. This isn't my first thing. I've been on television. Well, you misfired on this one, I believe, Mark. Products. Thanks for coming on. More coming up.